Good afternoon. My name is Keller Kassam, and I'm privileged and blessed to work in electric operations at South Carolina Electric and Gas Company, but also very privileged when our state needs us the most to be a part of this power team that we have assembled behind you here today, and what a team it is. They're silent servants who go out in the middle of the night to get your lights back on, and today you get to look in their faces and see their eyes and see their heart and soul and what they give to this state on an ongoing basis. It's been said, God said, let there be light, and then he created linemen to keep that light on. <laughs> I want to recognize and thank our state leaders for being here today. For you to take your time out to honor these folks, you honor our entire industry, and we are honored by your presence here today. And with that, to start our festivities, I'm going to turn it over to our governor, the Honorable, His Excellency, Excellency Henry McMaster. Governor McMaster. Excellency, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, uh, Keller said it, the power team, and that just made me think that's what South Carolina is. We all, we're part of a power team, and we're getting stronger every day. And we're going to the top, and one reason is with the, the great assets we have in this state. And of course, the most important one is, are, are our people. And those, as Keller said, that are willing to, to go the extra mile, to go out in the middle of the night, do things that are not only are dangerous and uncomfortable, uh, often enough unappreciated, but when your lights come back on after a while, you really appreciate these linemen that'll go out. We were listening to an old song. Does anybody remember the song, The Wichita Lineman? Anybody remember that? Okay, well, everybody ought to listen to it. It makes you appreciate linemen even more. But this is, a, this is a great service that you do. And it's one without which there'd be a lot of people suffering. There'd be a lot of people dying. There'd be a lot of people in trouble. There'd be a lot of families breaking up for it not for the work that you do. Often it, it did great risk to yourself and, and with great uh, lack of comfort for your families because of course they want you there with them when this is going on. So we appreciate it very deeply and to reflect that, I'd like to read this proclamation. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation. Whereas electric utility linemen or tradesmen who construct and maintain energy infrastructure with passion, dedication, and ongoing training, and whereas linemen do dangerous work on clear and cloudy days, handle live wires on and off of the pole, and in the case of a multi-day storm, work an average of 16 hours a day and often through the night, and whereas linemen are among the first to be called during storms and catastrophic, catastrophic events, leaving their families who are experiencing the storm and often risking their lives to work until power has been restored to every last customer. And whereas, with their strong commitment to restoring power after a storm, linemen break only for quick rest and refreshment, wade in chest deep water and brave other unpredictable elements in order to get the job done. And whereas, linemen are the backbone of South Carolina's electric utility system, earning respect and recognition for their work in good weather after catastrophic, uh, catastrophic events and at all times in between. Now therefore, I, Henry McMaster, Governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim May 2nd, 2017 is South Carolina Lineman Appreciation Day throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to honor our linemen for their dedication and contributions that better the lives of the people of our state. Signed, Henry McMaster, Governor, great state of South Carolina. And I do thank you on behalf of the people of the state. Thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Governor. We appreciate your support. We appreciate your support of our industry and certainly these individuals and all the other linemen that they represent here today. I'd next like to welcome the Chairman of the House LCI Public Utilities Subcommittee and a member of the Senate Regulation of Public Utilities Review Committee, the Honorable Mike Forrester. Chairman Forster. Thank you, Keller. Chairman Sandifer couldn't be here today, but he wanted me to express his gratitude for the very important service you provide to all the citizens of our state, and that he really wanted to be here to thank you personally for the service and recognize you. 
It's an honor and a privilege to be here today on behalf of the House of Representatives to say thank you to a group of people who deserve it. You know, I spent about 37 years in the natural gas industry, starting out in the electric field, so I know a little bit about what it's to be to be called out during the night, but not near as what you guys put up with, so I have a, a, a keen appreciation for what you do. South Carolina has suffered a crippling storm each of the past three years. Ice storm packs in 2014, the thousand year rain and flooding in 2015, and of course, Hurricane Matthew just last year. These disasters have tested our state and its strength. At its peak, Hurricane Matthew left 750,000 Carolinians, South Carolinians, without power. To put that number in perspective, that's twice the number that were without power after Hurricane Hugo. Some parts of our state experienced the thousand year flooding during Hurricane Matthew. Only one year after our state experienced a thousand year rain event that brought several devastating floods to our state. All of this followed 2014 with the ice storm pack wreaked havoc upon the lower part of our state and leaving 350,000 people without power. The localized damage was so bad in some areas that two of our power companies, our cooperatives, saw their systems completely go dark for a period of time. During the days of these events, our linemen, the men here today, were there, ready and willing to answer the call of duty for the citizens of our state. It takes a special type of person to do the work of a lineman. Most people don't know that you have to be brave, but they take the heart of the service and the ability to be content doing work, often without thanks, farewell, or attention. I don't know of a group of people who are more universally humble, dependent, and diligent. They are also proud and rightfully so. Linemen take great pride in doing a tough job and doing it well. They like knowing that they are there for their neighbors when their neighbors need them the most. They do their duty without complaint, and though they don't ask for recognition, today is our chance to say thank you. Earlier today, the South Carolina House of Representatives presented to this group a resolution to honor all the linemen in our state as a tangible expression of our gratitude. I hope that this day and this resolution serves as a reminder that the state of South Carolina thanks you all and is appreciative of your hard work. Thank you for your service and for helping us rebuild after each of these disasters. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Forster, and we appreciate your leadership as it relates to our industry as well. Next, I'd like to welcome the Chairman of the Senate Labor, Commerce, and Industry Committee and the Chairman of the State Regulation of Public Utilities Review Committee, the Honorable Thomas Alexander, and the Chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, the Honorable Luke Rankin. Thank you, Keller, and good afternoon. It's a delight this afternoon to join and to be a part of this, uh, and for the Chairman Rankin and myself to be here on behalf of the State Senate and certainly Senator Grooms that would be participating shortly in the program as well. We just appreciate the sacrifices and the work that the linemen do day in and day out to make sure that the lights and may say the electricity, the air, and the heat stay on in our homes across South Carolina, and we appreciate the work that y'all do day in and day out to make South Carolina a better place for us to live and work and to play. And at this time, I'll turn it over to the Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Senator Rankin. Thank you. And what a beautiful day yes, with lights on and air flowing. Isn't it great? <laughs> it is. Um, I am uh, pleased to be here as well. I, I uh, have been told to stay on script and don't venture at all, <laughs> but I never pay attention to orders. I want to salute three of our own, and uh, as y'all would expect me to do, um, we've got uh, three of Ori's finest, two with whom, or who work with Santee Cooper. Uh, Justin Turbeville, raise your hand. There's Justin. And uh, George Goss. George, if y'all can't see George, <laughs> open your eyes. Conway football, finest, and a South Carolina great defensive end, George Goss. And finally, Ashley Johnson from Ori electric you're seen because you're by George <laughs> uh, 
Each year, guys, uh, Forbes magazine releases its annual list of the 10 most dangerous jobs. Being a lawyer, being a state senator is not on that list. Um, but electrical line workers are always included. And most of us don't think about the realities of those jobs. Uh, we know that electrical power is and can be dangerous uh, when you're standing on your feet on solid ground. But imagine that danger when you're not on solid ground with two feet down, but you're 20 feet up a pole. If that isn't hard enough, throw in the worst aspects of the elements, cold, heat, rain, and powerful winds. And sometimes in those instances, uh, as others, climbing the pole might be a treat if it gets you out of the flood water, filled with snakes and what else, you know, is in there. My mama calls them critters. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes the danger also includes those irregular people that we call constituents that they call customers. Um, and again, we've seen those as well. But each company represented here today has demonstrated a culture that emphasizes safety above all else. And to, to those with us today, that safety first attitude isn't just a cliche, it's a matter of life and death. And we salute each of you and thank you for what you do. God bless. You know, as Senator Rankin said, that uh, the, um, the danger is truly real that y'all address day in and day out, and the personal sacrifice is a real sacrifice to do the jobs that you do day in and day out across South Carolina. You're there when we need you most, and we take it for granted so many times, but you are always respond to that call. You know, we just kind of expect our electricity to be there. I was thinking this morning as I got up and went in to the kitchen and just turned on the light switch, and I expected it to come on, and it did. Y'all have the opportunity of making sure that it's there, even when it's not convenient for you. Last night, I went to a birthday party for my twin grandsons that are five years old. They turned five yesterday. And it made me think about the day that we spent earlier this year when we played out in the snow together. It was a fun day for us there in the foothills of the mountains. But as I traveled around Oconee County, I saw electrical trucks, linemen out working to make sure that electricity was turned back on. And I'm sure you as linemen would have preferred to have been at home with your families, enjoying that time with your children and your grandchildren. But again, when it was most convenient for us to want electricity, you did the most inconvenient thing of being there to turn that electricity back on. We've heard earlier about the storms uh, that, that have impacted our state and the sacrifice that you had from that standpoint. And I think about, too, the, 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 the phrase on duty or being on call. And what does that mean, being on call? It means missing those birthday parties. It means missing those children's plays. It means missing things that are part of everyday life that y'all sacrifice, that real sacrifice that I mentioned earlier is all about. We thank you for stepping up all the time in a very dangerous job to make sure that the constituents that we serve have the electricity that they depend upon. Even when you would prefer to be with your own families, you take that charge. And so it is today that we recognize that sacrifice and that sacrifice is worth recognizing in this day that was proclaimed by the governor of the state of South Carolina. And I hope that you will take this resolution as a token of appreciation from not only the members of the Senate, but the over 4.6 million people of the state of South Carolina to say thank you for the job that you do and the safe way of putting safety first day in and day out. On behalf of all of them, we express our gratitude 
to each and every one of you. Thank you. May God continue to bless you and keep you safe in the work that you do. Thank you. Senators, thank you so much. You can tell with intimate appreciation comes intimate knowledge, and we appreciate your oversight and what you do for us every day in your service to this state. It means a lot. Next, I would like to welcome the Chairman of the Senate Transportation Committee, the Honorable Larry Grooms, the Chair of the House Education and Public Works Committee, the Honorable Rita Allison, and the Chairman of the House Education and Public Works Motor Vehicle Subcommittee, the Honorable Mark Willis, for a very special presentation. Thank you. We all know about the, the resolve of this group, the diligence of this group. When, when everybody else is running for cover, you're running up a pole. <laughs> you, you know what you need to do, and you get it done. That means a lot. That means a lot to me. It means a lot to the people of South Carolina. You're, you're professionals, and you take pride in what you do. You rebuild after a storm. You leave your home. You leave loved ones. You leave your wife, your children. You leave your mamas and your daddies because you're, there's a calling. A lineman has a calling to do what you've been trained to do, to rebuild, to keep the lights on, to make our state safe. You're special people. Now, I'm the license tag guy, all right? And we got a lot of license plates in South Carolina. Some are special, and some are even more special. And a special group like you guys, for special people like linemen, you deserve to have something special. And I'll step away and let Representative Rita Allison tell you a little bit more about what we've got cooked up over here. Thank you, Senator, and you're definitely right when you say that this is a very special one. You know, it's not every day that a woman serving the state of South Carolina can stand in front of a group of not only dedicated and hardworking men, but hey, they're good looking too. Did you notice that? And we think here that they should have a lineman calendar for the state of South Carolina to put out for all the hard work that they do. You know, a special license tag serves two purposes in this state. First, it can provide the person who owns the tag an opportunity to express pride in something that makes them very, very special. It can provide its owner an opportunity to identify with a positive thing that is bigger than him or herself. Second, it reminds those of us who see it of those positive groups or ideas. I hope that this special plate design that we are about to unveil today serves as a point of pride for every one of you linemen in this state and for everyone in this state who greatly appreciates South Carolina linemen. And I hope that every time that someone sees it, that they are reminded of the hard work, the sacrifice, and the dedication of our linemen. Chairman Willis, will you do the honors, please? And, and Representative Felder, you can help. This is Vanna White, and I don't know who you are. Is that you? So every time you see this license plate, you give a honk of appreciation to the men and women that are driving the car. That's right. That's right. Super. Super. Thank you so much. Thank all right. You, Senator. Thank you all. Once again, I'd like to thank all of our elected officials, state leaders who took the time to be here with us today. It means a lot to take time out of your busy schedules to be here and recognize these individuals. I'd also like to recognize Duke Scott, Executive Director, Officer of Regulatory Staff. Duke serves as an intermediary for us when we have the big disasters, and he always comes through for us. If it's a convoy stuck beside the road and we need an escort or we need material here yonder in our state, he's always been a great advocate for us, and we appreciate you, Dukes. 
In addition to that, I'd like to thank two of my best friends, Mike Cowick and John Frick. Um, this day, Mike Cowick instilled it and John Frick willed it. And I want to recognize both of you for what y'all do and what y'all mean to this industry as well as to this state. If you look up here at these linemen that stand behind me, as, as uh, the Representative Allison said, they do, uh, they do look good. But they got some wrinkles on them too. There's a lot of age and there's a lot of experience that is here. And they pass that on to generations to come. They're not just line workers that go out there, but they're teachers and they're caretakers, and they pass the baton to the next generation of folks to come do a job that not everyone can do. And we salute them for that. And with that, I can assure you, when it comes to powering South Carolina, we are indeed prepared in mind and resources. And as you look in their eyes and you look at the sacrifice of their families, you will also know this, as long as they breathe, we have hope. As long as they breathe, we have hope. And I want to thank y'all so much for what y'all do each and every day.